on how this idea of forming an alliance with other mums came about. Well, I think um, being so passionate about making sure children are safe and understand the risks that they will face throughout their, you know, their teenage years, um, I was really pleased when um, I was able to get together with some other mothers who felt just as passionate and happened to have sadly lost their sons as well. So we really have a bond. We've been emailing and communicating, but today was the first day we got to meet, and I think we've had a great opportunity to raise awareness of the need for PSHE lessons in every school for every pupil. How's it been meeting Fiona? Because we hear about your story separately. I've met Lauren before to talk about Breck, but it's not often that people cross paths like this when similar tragedies have happened to them. No, it's been so good to meet Lauren and Sasha today. Sasha's unfortunately not able to be here this evening, mm. but she it, it's because our stories are so similar and what we're trying to do is so similar and joining forces together, I think we can be a bit of a force to be reckoned with and we are, as, as Lauren says, so passionate. But we do need, I think, to spend a day together so that we can just talk and not have to do all the things that we've been doing today. You men mentioned Sasha, who's involved in this and lost her son David to a, uh, a brain tumour. I mean, quite different circumstances for, for the three boys. When did you light upon the idea that it's education, it's schooling, that could have made their outcome so different? Well, every pupil in general is, is at school. Um, there's over 8 million pupils in school at, you know, at any one time. Um, Ofsted in 2013 said 40% of schools did not have PSHE lessons that were, that were up to par. So that's still over three million pupils that need these lessons. And I think they're everyday life lessons that are so important um, for children to, to not only excel at school, but to excel in life. So um, it just felt so important for us to pull our stories together because it's not just about one of these issues. I mean, Fiona, Department for Education data shows secondary schools spend a third less time on yeah. PS PSHE than they did four years ago. Yeah. Now that's obviously not benefiting any, anybody, but could, do you think the reason is that they're focusing so much on results or, or, or what do you think it is? I think schools are under incredible pressure and it's not that they don't care and it's not that they're not aware of the importance of the well-being of their students, but there's such incredible pressure from all directions on results and on achievement and you know, we've just had the GCSE results a few weeks ago and they're a bit down on, on what they were in the previous year and that's going to increase pressure. So schools are forever having to be kind of creative about how they manage timetables. And Lauren, this, this isn't just a case of educating boys like Breck about dangers. Surely it's about educating men like the 19-year-old who killed him. Well, if you say man, it wasn't long after being a boy himself, about the potential outcomes of their actions. Absolutely. It's, it's for really every child to have life lessons to keep themselves safe, to know how to keep their peers safe, and also to know what's right and wrong in behaviours, con you know, consensual sex and, and abusive relationships. All of that plays into this. But I, I'm guessing that you both talk to your boys about the dangers out Absolutely. there. I'm sure yeah. you talked about online dangers and yeah. the dangers of drugs yeah. and, and sexual matters. So where, where do you draw the line? What, why should schools pick up so much of this a responsibility. It's a joint responsibility. It's teamwork. it's teamwork because the relationship a child has with their parents is different from the relationship a child has with their teachers and the message is communicated in different ways and it has to be parents and schools working together. Absolutely. Do you get a sense then, Lauren, just to finish off, that there could be a reaction to this in a positive way? There could be more of this kind of education in schools? We are very optimistic. I mm. think um, we're doing this. We're campaigning so hard together with the mm. PSHE Association mm to make sure children stay safer. And it's, it's not to put more pressure on teachers, it's really to just bring everyone together to make sure that children get these life lessons because it will only be benefit them in their studies and it'll benefit them in life.